Hey guys, in this video we are going to add the functionality to our submit order. So basically saving um, the data that we inputted or typed in into our database. Um, so before we do that one, um, we'll just So before we continue the or add that feature, um, let's just add a remove button here. So just in case we decided or the we um, added the product or selected the product mistakenly, then we need to remove it from the form. So we'll add a button in this row so inside the product name here we can add a dev and then this will be a button So remove fresh. Since here we have the button remove um so let's just remove the dev so it will sit in the same row. It won't create a new line. So once the remove button is clicked, it will be, uh, or this section will be removed. So let's uh, add a bit of style. So let's see our login. That's our CSS. Um, I'll just create the layout columns too. Let's see if we have that BDN class. I think we don't have yet. Um, so let's just do a uh, remove order BDN and here is just copy or create the styles in our browser. So man, uh, it's a deep padding of by PX. then background red color so let's don't use red just a shade of red so maybe that one so in our style, um, let's just add a global class BTN. So any BTN or button will use this. So it will have a border of none, a padding of four. And then here, it should be the remove. So there will be there will differ in um, the background and color so for remove order we'll use this background color so here we can insert these two classes then if we add as you can see it's working um, So here let's just so as you can see here we only we already have that BTN um, let's use app BTN so we'll use this one this should 
let's add a border of 2px um, radius then it's going to make it flow to the right so if we add as you can see here now once we click the remove button it will remove the current row so so here we have so if you remember we have this counter so every time we render So actually we don't need the counter so what we just need is we can get the closest so same thing with the this one so here we we'll just need to uh, we'll just hide the sidebar so on the event if the button is clicked so here if remove button is clicked so we'll use the class that class list that contains remove order btn so let's just try to alert high refresh remove so it's working fine remove remove so now we'll need to get the closest order row so order row then here so if you're wondering this target element this is the initialization so let's log the console that log order row so if you remove and uh, console so here as you can see it will remove this element so let's add morrows the last one so it will remove this so now remove element so, so here if we add another product and then click the remove so as you can see so let's just set product 3 so remove as you can see here so here we selected multiple products so we can just remove this one milo so now we were we are now able to remove now let's continue on the feature to add this data to our database 